I call Project Connect the biggest con job ever perpetrated on the voters and taxpayers of the city of Austin. Bill Alishire is a former tax collector and Travis County judge. He now represents Dirty Martins and several other plaintiffs who are suing the city over its light rail plan, Project Connect. And as long as that money is needed for operation or maintenance of the light rail system, that tax will be around. That's not constitutional. It's a, a tax in perpetuity. In November 2022, Austin voters approved a $7.1 billion ballot proposition for the project to be funded through an increase in property taxes. At the time, the proposal included 20 miles of light rail that went from downtown all the way to the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Today, the project is now only 10 miles with no route to the airport. It's a bait and switch. In any other kind of contract any of us are used to, we wouldn't put up with that. Alice Shire says besides not being what was agreed to, he alleges the city is also collecting those taxes illegally, a claim Texas attorney Ken Paxton agrees with. Last week, he issued a petition calling the project unconstitutional after the city filed what's called a bond validation lawsuit in February, looking for a new way for the project to move forward with a new funding agreement. They made some of the same claims we did, but even more claims. Uh, of illegality. The AG's petition says the city tried to create a contract with voters not authorized by the tax code. It also alleges the ballot language was misleading and not compatible with the existing funding agreement. Most importantly, Paxton's petition says the city cannot create bonds in this way, which he alleges threatens the credit and security of Texas bond investments. But it's still going to be the reputation of the city of Austin at stake here, and those are risky, illegal in a statement to CBS Austin, the city responded to the AG's petition by saying, quote, We disagree with the AG's assertions and are certain the court will allow the city and ATP time to file responses. The city's lawsuit has been combined with Dirty Martin's original lawsuit and will go before a judge in late May. Alice Shire says they're asking for the city to remove the Project Connect taxes from the city's property tax roll, which could mean issuing a refund or credit to residents who have paid in already. Later on, maybe rail would work. But that's it's the it's the illegality and fiscal irresponsibility of Project Connect that is its problems. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.